Hey guys, my name is Om and this week I released my video of my trip to Venice. I'm going to break down the transitions I used in that. Let's get started. I'm going to break down the following five transitions I use. Simple cuts. Zoom in. Cross dissolves. Circle out and Lumetri. Don't shy away from simple cuts. They're simple but effective. And sometimes it depends on how you record the scene. For example here, where I move from behind the wall to reveal the scene, or where I pan from up to down or left to right. The reason why it works is because of the sound sync is to the beat and the use of a sound effect to demonstrate that a see that cut is coming in makes the narrative flow smoothly. Next, this zoom in scene. This is done through a transform tab. This plugin is available in the description below. This plugin, as you can see here, increases the scale of the scene but in a quick manner. As you can see with these lines, it flows up. From this drone shot, going into the next scene, I use this transform plugin. It's a zoom effect, which essentially uses, it's the scale to zoom in, but introduces a curve into this change, giving it a smooth but cool effect to it. Cross dissolves one of the most used transition effects. However, because of this, they're normally put aside, but when used effectively, it can be quite a useful tool. Normally, the shot would go from one shot to the next and the cross dissolve would be in between here, like this. Going from one shot into the next. However, if you stack your clips one on top of the other, put the cross dissolve on the beginning of the next shot, you have more control of when the next shot will come in, making it more effective. Again, this works better to the beat of the music. Next, this cut circle. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. In the effects panel, under video transitions, iris, round. There is this effect that you can put in. However, you don't have much control over this effect. It will come in as fast or as slow as you want, but it will eventually fill the screen. As I didn't want to do this, I clicked on the effects control panel and clicked on opacity and drew a mask. Once I was happy with the shape, I increased the mask expansion and keyframed it in and out rather than it completely covering the whole shot. From there, we can move on to the next transition, which is Lumetri. The Lumetri was done for both this shot and the one underneath. In the effects panel, I searched for gradient wipe under the transitions folder and drag and drop this onto the video. From there, in the effects control panel, I keyframed in the transition completion from zero to 52% to a few frames next to it, 100. This then gave me more control of when, how long I want the transition to last. So, from the first keyframe at zero the next keyframe of 52 with majority gone which just left this white hallway which a few frames later was completely gone and that's it guys as always thank you for everything hit the like and subscribe button and i'll see you next week next week's tutorial is going to be on instagram i'll see you then